Holy crap, they've done it! They brought Batman to Soul Hunters, guys. I am super excited to bring you guys the very special spotlight video for Batman just released today. Alright, so stay tuned for this spotlight. Let's go. Hello. What's good everybody? What's going on? Welcome back. It's me, Worst Effing Gamer, and today we have a special spotlight for you guys today. It's Batman has finally been released. It is incredible. I am super excited to bring you guys this spotlight. Oh man, not only do we have Batman released today, but today is Thanksgiving. Alright guys, so I'm very thankful for a lot of things in my life, but right now I'm very thankful for Batman. Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's start this spotlight video, but before we start the video, we have to purchase this guy because of the license agreement from DC. Damn, DC want that money, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to give it to them, alright? Let's go ahead. First purchase, $9.99. We will get Batman. Alright, there we go, guys. Batman, we purchased him. So don't forget, the purchases for Batman don't count for other, you know, event purchases. Because a lot of people say, hey, I didn't get my this and that. It's only for Batman. It's only for this account. But let's go ahead, guys. Let's accept this and claim the Batman is in the house. Let's go, Dark Knight. Wow, this looks incredible, guys. Damn, this is awesome. Holy moly. I really still can't believe that Batman is in Soul Hunters now. This is incredible. Look at that cape. He's looking majestic as hell. Um, but why does the moon look like it's freaking happy or sad or some weird French guy with his eyes and his little mustache? Nonetheless, let's go ahead, guys. Let's go to the next part. <laughs> Anyway, is it me or does Batman look fat as hell? What the hell, Batman? You let yourself go. He's got a big old head and a small little body. How is he going to kick everybody's ass looking like that? But Ben Affleck has let himself go. All right, let's go ahead, guys. Let's go to the next part here. So first things first, once you have purchased your Batman, you got him at three stars for 10 bucks. The next step is you can get him at five stars for 50 bucks so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to purchase the next event here so let's go ahead let's just do this quickly all right the payment is in let's go ahead let's get them boom right there so once you claim them uh, you get 250,000 I mean 250 more soul stones and a dark knight avatar hmm I can't wait to see what that avatar looks like and then once you're done with that the next one is 9.99 which is 100 bucks to get them at seven stars so you know what we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that right now as well because uh i cannot wait double click i'm talking like batman all right here we go all set let's go final part here what are we gonna get all right so you get 750 more soul stones plus the dark knight frame so we got a frame and an avatar that we can actually use for this guy right so let's go ahead and let's check him out now Oh, real quick, also guys, when you make the purchases, they also are going to send you something in the mail. So it's uh, a lot of gold to upgrade your Batman. So you get gold and more gold. That's all the gold that you're going to need to upgrade him, okay? Just so you know, they send it to you in the mail. And now, the moment that we've all been waiting for, here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Check him out. Look at this avatar. What is this? <laughs> this guy comes in swinging hard. Look at this. Oh my god, I really have not even seen his abilities. But these are some of his actions here. He comes in in his Batmobile and looking awesome as hell. So first things first, I'm going to promote him. Let's just go ahead and promote him quickly. I'll get him to 7 stars before I do anything else. Alright. And then we'll check out his stats. We'll check out his abilities. We'll fuse him all the way up to orange plus 2. Boy, we've got a lot to do with Batman today. This is incredible. I can't wait. And I can't believe that he's actually here. This is sick. It is crazy sick. Alright, so that's 7 star Batman for you guys right there on day 1, just released. Next thing's next, let's go ahead and fuse. So, uh, I'm pretty sure I have all the equipment to get this guy all the way maxed out, right? So I'm not worried about that. Fuse all the way, boy I wish. Oh, wait, first things, let me just bring him to level 100, there we go. Alright, so right away level 100 and then we can just fuse him real quick here. I'm just gonna go quickly as hell. Press a button faster and faster. I think I'm going to crash the game. Because I'm clicking on it too fast. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, I'll slow down here now so you guys can kind of take a look what happened. You know, what items he's going to need. This is purple plus three. Uh, nothing too fancy at this point right now. This is purple plus four. So he's obviously a physical hero. 
so far so good i don't really see anything that's really hard oh and don't forget guys he also has an awakening so we'll uh, we'll actually start his awakening right here on this video as well so that's sick uh here we go fusion orange plus two so there you have it orange plus two master's cap let's put that on him uh wing maker let's put that blade of illusions uh beastly guardian and the last one is the shadow slayer there we go so a lot of really really cool uh physical items that he needs there all right now next thing is we got to check out his abilities guys so let's break them down one by one and see what these abilities actually do so first things is the bat signal when his ultimate is activated the background changes to show gotham at night whoa that's sick and the bat signal appears in the sky. Batman unleashes a series of attacks against nearby enemies, then jumps in the Batmobile and drives through the battlefield, hitting all enemies along the way. What? That's not heroic. That sounds like you're a common criminal. Just running everybody over without any regard for human life. But I guess it looks pretty sick. Uh, second ability, Battering. Batman uses Batarang to strike the most distant enemy, then leaps to the vicinity of the enemy to hit him again. Alright, so he's got his little Batarang, he swings it, hits somebody, then jumps and sucker punches them again. So two hits in one, I guess, or more than that. So that's actually pretty sick, I like that Batarang there. Next one is Bat Strike. Batman selects one of two uh, attack combos based on the number of enemies nearby. If there are fewer than three nearby enemies, all three parts of the attack will be focused on one enemy. If there are more than three nearby enemies, he hits three different targets. Wow. Pretty sick. So, the more the better. I guess that makes sense for somebody like Batman, because this guy fights crime. The more enemies there are, the more ass-kicking he's going to do. So, that one is pretty cool. Bad strike. And fourth ability here, guys. Uh, justice served. Batman has pledged never to kill his foes. When enemies are on the brink of death, the enemies... The uh, enemies will be arrested and taken away. What? What the hell is this? Other enemies will be terrified and will uh, have reduced physical attack for the rest of the wave. Huh. <laughs> Alright, first of all, that's freaking weird as hell. Because uh, this guy is sworn never to kill his enemies. But with his ultimate, he, this guy is going to hop in his Batmobile and he's going to run everybody over. But I guess that doesn't kill them. That's going to keep them alive just enough for this guy to arrest them. You're going to jail, motherfuckers. You're going to jail for a long time. So I'd like to see how this one actually works in the battle. Uh, so I, how, when the brink of death, so how much HP do they need? Do they have to go to like 1 HP or like 10% lower? He'll arrest them. They'll disappear from the battle. I'm not quite sure, but it looks pretty sick. So we will try that. And it reduces physical attack, so that's actually really good as well. Alright, so this is Beyond Suit. This is his Awaken ability, guys. So we'll see that when I finally awaken him here. But the Beyond Suit, which the Beyond Suit, which Batman wears after his awakening, benefits him in multiple ways. The hit rate of his attacks become extremely high, and the damage he takes is greatly reduced. Ha! So when he hops in his suit, he's gonna attack. The rate is higher, so he's not going to miss much, I'm guessing. And he's going to be taking a lot less damage. So that is very promising. That's actually really, really cool. So I can't wait to awaken him. That's actually nice. But for now, I'm going to spread out some of these um, abilities here. And then we're going to go ahead and... One more here, one more here. And now that abilities are all set, guys, you know what they do. Let's, first of all, let's start his awakening and see what... You know we're gonna do for this so go ahead confirm we will begin the awakening now i have a celestial potion so we're gonna go ahead confirm and utility belt has been achieved so we got the utility belt that actually saves a lot of time here let's go ahead and let's craft let's give him that so already day one we seven star batman <laughs> and we've started his awakening so quest number one is complete what does he do for part number two bountiful cavern Oh, that is some bad luck because it's not open today, guys. So, damn it, that sucks. I'm going to have to wait a little longer for that, but that's fine. Ah, I would have loved to start it, but it's going to be a little longer before I can awaken Batman here. Okay, next thing's next. I'm going to have to enchant all of his items, obviously, to get him a lot stronger. And I'm going to have to do all of his abilities. You know, that takes some time as well. But before we do that, let's go on 
and uh, take this guy to a battle and actually see him in action and see what he can do when he's fighting against the bad guys. Pia, pia! Wait a minute, I just realized how is this possible? We have Killjoy, the Joker here, and Batman is in the game as well. If Soul Hunters would ever do hero combos, that would be awesome. So Batman gets a boost to all of his stats if you have Killjoy in your party. I think that's a great idea. Come on, Lilith. Uh, you, you, you heard me right here. Hero combos, please. That would be awesome. And Batman is going to kill Killjoy's ass. <laughs> Alright guys, so here we are in a battle, I just want to see what this guy is actually going to do, so he pulls up in his Batmobile, like a G, and let's see, so, now don't, oh, that's his Bat, uh, Batarang there, throws it, hit the backliner, and then jumps to the back, yo, that's pretty sick, so he jumps to the back, alright, let's check out his ultimate here now, boom, the Bat Signal, and everything has changed into Gotham, and he's just going ballistic and just going crazy, attacking everybody, there's his Batarang again, whoa, he just really, literally picked up something off the ground, and it hit the junk out of that guy, that's sick. Alright, so I kind of like his abilities, man. He's really sick. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of Ezio, a little bit, because Ezio is all over the place. But uh, Batman just looks really awesome, dude. Let's go ahead and use his ultimate again. And I love how this changes everything. Hoo, hoo, hoo. And run him over! Now, the problem is, abilities are really low right now. So they might not affect everybody. So it's kind of hard to really see what they're going to do. But... All in all, uh, very easy to understand. He's going to come in. A lot of physical attacking. He's going to jump to your opposite side of the field. That's always good to have somebody that jumps to the back line. So, um, wow. I'm loving Batman. I think he's freaking awesome, dude. God damn it. I'm so glad that they released something like this. A superhero from DC. We already had Ubisoft. And I'm just wondering, what is next, man? What is next? Superman, Green Lantern, The Flash. Oh, that would be sick. So, if this... I'm guessing if this, you know what I mean, this partnership works, this licensed Batman hero works for, for, for Lilith, then maybe they can release, you know, somebody else from DC Comics, Marvel maybe. The, the possibilities are endless. I think it's incredible. I love it. Now let's go ahead and use his ultimate here again. Go ahead, look at this guy just goes insane, dude. Now don't forget, because there was four heroes around him, he hits three targets at once. If there's only three or less heroes around him, he only hits one. That's the kind of catch about that. So let's take a look. 500,000 damage. That is a lot of damage on a campaign battle here, man. Wow. Really, really dope. Really sick. And uh, there's really... You don't really have to see that anymore, guys. This guy is pretty straightforward. Now let me try to find him here. Where is he? There he is. Trying to hide up on me. Oh, so that's him right now. Next time you probably see this guy in a couple of days. I will have him awakened for sure uh, I'm gonna enchant all of his items. I gotta work obviously on all of his abilities guys But for now, let me show you his stats at this point and uh, Let's kind of take a look 4,000 physical attack. That's really good anything. Oh, you know over 4,000 is really good. This is almost 5,000 um, And how 39,000 plus another 9,000 that's actually decent. It's not too bad but other than that, we're going to end the spotlight here, guys. I'm going to be starting a stream later today. If you watch this before the stream or after the stream, um, thanks a lot. I appreciate you guys very much. I hope you enjoy Batman. This guy looks sick. I can't wait to start using him in all my battles now. It's going to be phenomenal. So check me out on stream. Check out Batman a little bit more in action. And I will catch you all next time on another Soul Hunters spotlight video. So then, have a good morning and afternoon. Good night, guys. Happy Thanksgiving.